Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be trying out a different style of video in this one today. We're going to be talking about the TSM top lane situation headed into the 2021 season. Obviously, kicking off the year, they're going to be starting out with Huni in the top lane and Haunter waiting in the wings in the academy scene. Um, but we're, I'm going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on who I think should be starting, why, and as the course of the season goes on, who I think is going to end up being the starter in the end. Because it's obviously a super, super hot uh, kind of topic of debate right now because TSM is such a popular team. There's so much controversy surrounding um, them deciding to go with Huni, them having Haunter ready to go, all of this craziness. So we're going to talk about all of that in this video today. Um, but before we get into that, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, which is Draft Buff. This is a fantasy esports site um, that hosts all different kinds of games, including fantasy leagues where you can play head to head all season long with your friends or just random people that you meet in one of the leagues that you can join. Um, they also host Royale games, which are 100 entries, one winner. We get to draft on a budget. We have like a, an amount of money and each player's worth an amount of money. You got to fit your team under a salary cap and stuff like that super super cool super fun um and i'm going to be hosting my own league with you guys um for the fantasy lcs season it's going to be linked down in the description below it's also going to be pinned as a comment and draft buff has promised to give the winner of that league an esports jersey of their choice which is super super awesome of them so definitely check that out and check out draft buff today um, again with that being said today we're talking about what should TSM do? They have Huni, they have Haunter, two guys who are just absolutely complete polar opposites. Um, and this is going to be a really, really interesting situation as it plays out through the 2021 season. Um, when you take a look at Haunter and Huni, again, their play styles, very, very different. Haunter is a guy who um, can play with low resources. He is a guy that uh, dies much less. Uh, he plays much safer. He seems to develop gold leads more often. Um, and he can kind of just affect the game in different ways. He has much less variance. He's not going to hard, hard carry the games like Huni has the potential to do, but he's not ever going to just like hard lose your team the game either, which I mean, obviously he does sometimes. Everybody has those bad games and stuff, but Huni seems to do that much more often, just have a much more direct impact on the game. If you have Huni on your team, um, your team's probably playing through top lane and they're probably either, you know, living or dying by Huni, which can be weird, which can be crazy. Um, but then Haunter is kind of the guy who he does have some weird random deaths where he gets isolated. Um, but for the most part, he's looking to um, just kind of affect the game in different ways. So TSM has a weird situation going into 2021. Um, also, the, another weird thing here is that both of these guys are kind of not playing at the peak of their career right now. Obviously, neither of these guys, are, you know exactly what you're getting with them right now. Both of these guys, you're hoping to kind of return to old form. So I guess TSM, in a way, is getting two chances um, of having a you know top laner kind of hoping to return to their old glory. Obviously, Huni with his uh, kind of fanatic SKT days, but even some of his other teams like Immortals and stuff where he's looked a little bit better than he is right now. Um, and then obviously, Haunter returning to TSM and trying to find that old TSM form of like 2016, 2017, um, where he was one of the best players in North America. Not only was he a very, very great top laner um, for TSM. Again, when we actually take a look at their stats from some of the, the uh, past splits, obviously stats in League of Legends aren't anything to look into too much. It's nothing too crazy. Um, but you see, like in spring of 2020, Huni ended up with a 1.96 KDA on Dignitas, which, which I just think is really, really crazy, really funny. Um, he's averaging, you know, a little bit under three deaths a game. Uh, depends on the champ, obviously. Uh, you can see his Mordekaiser, who's close to four deaths a game. Um, Huni is, is always going to be interesting because there's always going to be his GP, um, his rumble. Uh, he's always going to have these picks that just kind of stand out, that draw bands, um, that kind of set him apart for, from from some other players in a way, where Haunter doesn't necessarily have those really, really signature picks you have to be too scared of. Um, but I do think Haunter's a little bit better at tanks, and, and uh, obviously he just plays a completely different style um, than Huni. You see his numbers. Uh, he did go down to Academy where he, he didn't exactly dominate. I mean, he didn't look terrible obviously his numbers are good you know 3.41 kda um he's still dying a lot but he, he's getting a lot of kills he's getting a lot of gold per minute he has good uh kill participation good kill share um he's doing a lot of good things especially i mean playing his rumble like could you imagine you're an academy player and you have to play against hoonies rumble that's just crazy um, and then finally, obviously, he gets to uh, get back into 2020 summer with Evil Geniuses. He plays in the playoffs a little bit. Um, his numbers aren't great in uh, the summer, but in playoffs, his numbers weren't terrible. They got a little bit better. Um, you see pulling out some Shen, some Hecarim. He's always going to have those crazy, um, just different picks. He's always going to have a huge champion pool. That's another um, big, big plus side for Huni is one, he's going to draw some bands, which is going to open up, you know, other players on your team. If you do have some other picks, uh, TSM does have a good amount of people who can play a ton of different champions obviously with Huni, Sword Art, uh, Spica all being able to play a ton of different champions so he, he would fit well in that sense um, but then you have Haunter who obviously has been playing on Golden Guardian for the last couple of splits 
um, we can see with him again, he has a little bit less deaths, um, but he's always going to have less kills. He al also can uh, play a, a wide variety of champions, but again, his carries are going to be a little bit more suspect than Huni, um, and his tanks are going to be a little bit better. He's going to be a little bit more effective, obviously with lower gold. He's going to have a little bit, uh, just more influence on the game in those ways. Um, I also think he, he's probably a little bit better of a split pusher than Huni too. I, again, they both kind of get caught out and have weird isolated deaths at times. Um, but yeah, they just kind of bring two entirely different things to the team. And yes, Haunter did not have a very good spring. Obviously, very, very low KDA. Um, not not getting into many kills. Uh, still kind of dying probably too much. Spring playoffs didn't look great either. But then at the end of the summer, he started to look a little bit better as Golden Guardian started to look a little bit better. Um, he had a pretty good summer split. He's coming in uh, off, off a better split at least than he had in the spring. Um, and that'll be interesting. Um, but then in the summer playoffs, I honestly didn't think he looked that great. Um, and I think if he would have played a little bit better, uh, Golden Guardians probably could have beaten TSM and knocked them out but that's what we're working with um so again this is a really weird weird situation where neither of these guys is like the clear answer obviously tsm is going to be going with huni at first and we will have to see how that goes i think it's also going to come down uh in large part to how um tsm wants to play i think if lost ends up being a beast and tsm is really able to play through their bot lane um, with lost and sword art really starting to carry games if loss is as good as advertised if he starts to really pop off um, then maybe Haunter could be a better fit for this team. Obviously, he's going to be able to play that weak side a little bit better. He's going to play that facilitator role a little bit better. He's going to be able to play tanks better. He's going to be able to play low econ a little bit better. Um, but if TSM's bot lane does start to struggle, if Lost is maybe a little bit overrated, if Sword Art doesn't come to North America and just dominate, if he's one of these guys who's just trying to collect a paycheck and maybe doesn't look as good um, as TSM's trying to pay him and all that stuff, um, then Huni could perhaps be a better answer. If TSM does need to play through topside, if Speak and Huni can develop this awesome synergy um, and really get huni back to his old ways because that's another huge thing here is huni going to come in motivated is he going to come in knowing that this is might be his last chance that he really needs to pop off um is he going to mesh well with Bjergten and the tsm play style and everything because obviously tsm is a huge pressure huge brand crazy fan base um but huni's been there before skt fanatic and you know these organizations these fan bases they're no different um and he has shined in big moments before so i think huni has a chance to come in and surprise people in the end, um, I do think Loss coming in pretty unexperienced. I think TSM will want to probably try to play through the top side a little bit more um, early on in the season. And I think starting out with Huni is probably better off again because I do think Huni has higher upside. And if TSM is trying to be a team that wants to compete for LCS titles, that wants to go to World and try to do damage, um, I do think it makes sense starting out with Huni in the top lane. And, and I agree with TSM in that decision. Um, but again, they have a low variance veteran in the wings ready to go. So I think they can avoid absolute disaster by having Han are ready to go in the academy scene um and, and i think that's what obviously that's what they're doing and i think it is should hopefully work out well obviously it could work out bad huni and hunter could both suck uh loss could end up not being as good as people expect him to be tsm could be an absolute disaster this year there there is a fair amount of question marks with this team um, but obviously the top lane being one of the more interesting positions, one of the more um, kind of back and forth. And I, and I know I posted a uh, poll the other day where I asked you guys who you thought between Huni and Haunter. I'm pretty sure Huni ended up winning that poll by a significant margin. Um, and I definitely do agree. But again, it'll be interesting to see how TSM plays over the course of the year. I would be shocked if Haunter is not starting games at least some point in the year. Um, I would also be shocked if Haunter doesn't look very, very good in Academy, you know, and, and looks like he does deserve uh, kind of some LCS time once again. So I think in, in the end, we'll get to see both these guys. We'll really get to see what both these guys are made of, and we'll have a lot of our questions answered. Um, but I know headed into the 2021 season, a lot of TSM fans and even not TSM fans are worried um, what's going to happen in the top lane. They have a lot of questions. Hooney's been getting a lot of flame. TSM's been getting a lot of flame. Um, but again, it will be interesting to see how TSM is able to work with both of these players. Um, obviously, they're more familiar with Haunter, which, which could be a good thing since he knows what to expect in this team, in this environment. Um, but it can also be a little bit of a bad thing because, again, we don't know how good of terms TSM and Haunter ended up on last time, uh, obviously, when they when they moved on from Haunter because it seems like things didn't end that great. So maybe he's already kind of starting off on not the right foot with TSM uh, headed into this stint with them. So it will be interesting to see how that plays out. But again, in the end, I'm completely fine with them starting out with Huni. I, I am a little bit nervous. I am a little bit scared. Obviously, I don't think there's any way you couldn't be. Um, but I do think in the long run, this will work out okay. They have their super carry option. They're starting him out. They're going to let him play. They're going to let us see how he goes, um, how he fits in with the team. And if he can be that Huni of old, and if he can't, they have Haunter, who isn't going to be amazing either, but he'll at least be a rock that uh, if TSM can figure out how to play through their other carries, because they do have big carries, guys like Power of Evil, obviously in the mid lane, um, who should be able to win them a fair amount of games by himself. Uh, they can kind of have Haunter ready to go to bring that low variance top laner in 
and uh, yeah, hopefully salvage their season a little bit. Um, but again, in the end, TSM is going to see what they have out of these two guys. They're going to pick one of them for the long term. And then we do hope they, you know, f eventually find a younger guy to start developing for the future to really be that carry top lane of the future, which people kind of expected Broken Blade to be. But obviously moving on from him, now they have to find that next guy because I don't really think Huni or Haunter is the long term option for TSM in the top lane. Um, but it could be the short term answer while they start to try and win right now. So it'll be interesting to see. It will be exciting. This will for sure be one of the one of the stories and, and positions that I'm following most closely headed into the 2021 season. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. What do you think should happen? Do you think Huni should start? Do you think Hauntsford should start? And who do you think is going to be starting by the end of the year? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, save then on my latest content. Check me over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. Uh, merch is going to be linked down in the description below. And remember to check out Draft Buff. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.